I'm Brooke from Teacher Author Design Academy and you're watching a PowerPoint tip video. Let's get into it. Hi, today we're going to be talking about flattening your products. We're going to be talking about what the heck that even means. We're going to be talking about two free ways that you can do that in a paid way that's a little bit quicker. But uh, I also like to show you how to do things for free. I understand you may be a beginner watching this and we don't want to always put a bunch of money into our business right from the beginning. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so let's pretend that I've created this 10 page product here of Halloween CVC word searches. They're not, it's not actually CVC words, is it? If we look at my word list down here, just for the tutorial, we're using this as an example. Okay, so what we're gonna do is consider, if we were to sell this online, we could upload this PowerPoint file. It would not be a good idea. Uh, not everyone has PowerPoint on the computer and it's everyone can just move things around and it can get all messed up and people can copy paste your elements and then change a couple things and then claim it to be their own you for your privacy of sorry your protection of your hard work you should upload printable products as pdfs okay they're going to be easier for people to access as well okay so let's look at what we would do if we weren't even considering flattening our products the what not to do okay so as you'll see there's clip art here on this beautiful slide and it has terms of use that say it needs to be flattened 99% of the time clip art will have that terms of use if it is one that you've bought online from a place like teachers pay teachers or Etsy are there are a few that you wouldn't need to worry about it so much which we might talk about in another video but for the sake of this we're assuming that the terms of use say that it has to be flattened because we don't want people to be able to just copy paste these images here and use them for themselves because they didn't pay for those images or even if they were free, they don't have a, a copy of the terms of use and so therefore they can't comply with them. Okay, let's pretend we're someone that does not care about those terms of use and we weren't considering flattening. We would go to save as, we would go to PDF and we would hit save. And we would hit OK because you wouldn't normally have to, but I've already created this once for a video, so I'm replacing that file. Okay, so this is what not to do, guys. Okay, now let's go and have a look at that PDF we just created. And if I go down here and I right click, oh, I select the pumpkin, right click and hit copy image, and then go back here down to my blank slide I made earlier and paste it here. There we go. I've just been able to lift up that image. So if you uploaded this PDF here to, pow to Teachers Pay Teachers, someone bought it, downloaded it, and then was able to pick up that copyright, that's against terms of use. So we need to flatten it. Now some people pay for software that do does this. Many TPTers use something like Adobe or Flatpak. We are, I'm going to show you now how to do it for free, and then I'm going to show you my favorite tool for using it that is a paid feature. But let's look at how to do it for free. Okay, the quickest and most easiest way is for you to go File, Save As, and then go down here and hit PNG, so Portable Network Graphics Format, and hit Save, and then select All Slides. Okay, that's going to save every slide in this PowerPoint document as an image, and it's going to be saved in a folder that can be found in the same place that this document is. Okay, so I'm going to go to file and I'm going to open a new PowerPoint presentation and then I'm going to go to insert I'm going to go to photo album and hit the arrow down and hit new photo album then I'm going to hit file disk and then I'm going to find that document that we had the there we go if I go here these are all the pictures we made so I went back to the folder I knew it was in and these are all those PNG files we made earlier that are pictures of our slides and I'm going to select all of them by going control A okay and then I'm going to hit insert and then I'm going to hit create and now this looks all wrong we don't want this don't freak out there's another step to make this look how we want now I'll delete this first slide here and then again all wrong not what we want so all we do is we go to design after we've put in our pictures like this we go to design we go to custom slide size we choose letter 
paper. So that was under slide size over here. We choose letter paper and portrait because that's what the, that was the size of my original document. So you change the slide size to be the same size as your original slides from the first document we were looking at. And then I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit maximize. Ta da! Okay. Now let's look what happened. I go file, save as, and I go to the place that I've been saving it and I click down to PDF and I hit save and we're going to replace that first one. It's not going to let me because I have it open. Just close it. Sorry. Okay. Save. Okay. All right. Now let's open that. Now that we've followed the process I just showed you, let's look if I can lift up that. No, can't select anything. Can't lift up that. The only reason you're seeing this is blurry is because this is on a massive screen I'm filming my screen on right now. If we printed this, it would not look blurry. So don't freak out. If you put it down to what it would normally look like, it's not blurry. Okay, so earlier I had mentioned that I was going to show you two ways to do this. But actually, this is the quickest and most efficient way. I just looked at the other way and um, I don't really think there's much point showing you that because it's takes way longer and is way more tedious. So that's how I suggest that you flatten your products to create PDFs to upload to Teachers Pay Teachers. And now I'm going to show you a paid way of doing this. Okay. So my preferred option, which is what I've, I choose to do because I'm now um, at a place where I've chosen to invest some money into being able to do things a little bit more efficiently is I paid for this add-on, which can be found on TPT called flat pack. So this, one here so you can see this is not flattened yet you can pick everything up all you do is you hit create PDF and then um, oh, sorry this is another one of my products from my other store and then words I'm gonna call it word search with flat pack and I have my oh, my clip out uh, my cap sock on never mind save and it's gonna create PDF for me instantly without me having to do any saving as PNGs, without me having to do any, um, uh, let's open it now, without me having to do any bringing in as, um, into a photo album. It's just going to be instantly done for me. You can't pick anything up and all the things like that. If you've seen this product I've made and wonder how I did it, I used a word search template that will be made available on Teacher Author Design Academy soon. If you're watching this after that goes live, there'll be a link in the post. Otherwise, join our mailing list to be told when it goes live. Okay, so th there you have it. That is how to flatten a product easily and more efficiently for uploading it to TPT. Now, there are a few more other things to consider when flattening products. For example, your hyperlinks will be gone and you'll also not be able to make the product editable. Now, I'm going to go into those aspects in a little bit more detail in my free course, which is going to be available soon for people who would like to learn a little bit more about using PowerPoint as a beginner, as a TPT -er someone who sells on Teachers Pay Teachers. So if you're watching this before it goes live, you'll find a link in this post. If you're watching this after it goes live, there'll also be a link in this post directly to be able to go sign up for that course. Um, join the waitlist if you are watching it before it goes live and come learn more about using PowerPoint for Teachers Pay Teachers. Did you find that helpful? Do you want to see more? Check us out on social media at Teacher Author Design Academy. We also have a free course coming out, a beginner's guide to using PowerPoint to make quality resources to sell online. Check out the link in this post for more information. Bye!